in trouble and you need someone to help you out There's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout Hey, 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 help is on its way Call the Goada Brothers, call the Goada Brothers Call the Goada Brothers, call the Goada Brothers If ever things go wrong and don't work out the way you planned There's no need to worry, they'll always lend a helping hand Hey, 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 help is on its way It's the Koala Brothers Frank, Buster, you've got to help me Sure, we're here to help Call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers Call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers Help is on its way Frank and Buster are out on their daily patrol looking for anyone in need of help. Who do you think they're going to help today? Will it be Ned? Or Mitzi? Or maybe George? Maybe they're going to help someone in town. Will it be Sammy? Or Josie? Or Alice? Maybe they'll help someone by the waterhole. Do you think it'll be Archie? Or Penny? Or even Lolly? Who are the Koala Brothers going to help today? It's Ned! <laughs> the Koala Brothers are going to help Ned today. It's a new day in the outback, and as each new day starts, you never know what Ned the Little Wombat will get up to next. He's always excited about something, and always has some great plan in mind. Hi Ned. Oh, what's the colander for then? It's my helmet, and this is my sword. I'm being a knight. Wait here. Look. Knights dress up in metal armour and they rescue princesses, see? They even fight big green dragons! Wow, that looks like fun! Yeah, I've decided I'm going to be a knight! Ooh, how are you going to do that, Ned? By doing everything knights do, of course! Take that, dragon! Buster thought Ned might need some help to do all the things that knights do. Meanwhile, Frank was cleaning out the odds and ends box. Frank, Ned says he wants to be a knight. A knight? Yeah. Do you think we could help him? I'm sure we can, Buster. Buster? Hmm. I think I might have an idea. Hey, Ned! We are here to help you become a knight. Really? Oh, fantastic! The first thing you need is armour. You can't be a knight without armour. Cooey! What's up with him? I'm going to be a knight and Frank and Buster are going to help me. A knight? That's silly. You can't be a knight in the outback. Yes, I can. Can't I, Frank? Of course you can, Ned. We'll help you be a great knight. Oh, thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. We're, We're here to help. Wow. What else have you got? Here, Ned. This can be your shield. Oh, thanks. Why have you still got that colander on your head? It's not a colander. It's my helmet. Don't take any notice, Ned. You look great, just like a real knight. Thanks, Buster. Now I need to find a princess to rescue. Do you think we should keep an eye on him, Frank? I think so, Buster. Hello, Mitzi. I'm here to rescue you. Uh, well, I don't actually need rescuing Ned. But if I don't rescue a princess, I can't be a knight. Please let me rescue you. No, Ned, I'm busy. This was one princess who didn't seem to want rescuing. Well, I'm going to rescue you anyway. Ow! Oh. Oh. Are you?
you all right, Ned? I think so. If you ask me, it's Ned who needs rescuing. How can I be a knight if I can't rescue a princess? A little later, Sammy arrived with his deliveries. Ooh. Ah. Hello, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Good day, Frank. Good day, Buster. Did you bring the coloured paper? Coloured paper? Oh, no, I forgot it. <sighs> Sammy, here's the paper. Oh, thanks for coming all the way from town. Yeah, thanks, Josie. Uh, what's the coloured paper for, Frank? All in good time, Buster. All in good time. Hi. Frank didn't want Ned to know about the coloured paper. <laughs> he was planning a surprise. Would you like me to help unload the grocery, Sammy? Oh, thanks, Josie. That'd be great. Oh, oh, oh. oh hey, don't worry. I'll help you, Josie. Are you all right, Josie? Yeah. Oh, yes, I, I think so. Thanks to Ned. Hey, Ned! You just rescued a princess. I have? That's right. You rescued Josie from the boxes. So I did. Yes! I'm going to do everything knights do. You watch me. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Is something the matter, George? Oh, oh, oh Ned, didn't recognise you in that get-up. Oh. I've lost some letters and me cap. The wind took them. Oh, dear. Here's one of them, George. Thanks, Ned. But what about the others? We found this, George. Have you lost any more? We can catch them with this if you'd like. Thanks, Buster. I... Hey, Buster, why not let Ned do it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good idea, Frank. Here you go, Ned. Watch out, letters. Here I come. Oh dear, not again. Ned chased all the letters and it didn't take him long before he caught every one. Well done, Ned. <gasps> oh, thanks, Ned. You've really helped me out. Well done, Ned. Best be off. Bye. You've helped someone in trouble, just like a real knight. You're right. All I need now is to fight a dragon. Can you help me find one? Um... Maybe you can look out for one from the plane. Sure thing, Ned. What are we going to do, Frank? I don't think there are any dragons for Ned to fight in the outback. Don't worry, Buster. I've got a plan. Put the coloured paper in the plane, Buster. OK, Frank. But what's it for? We're going to find Archie and turn him into a dragon. Oh. Get ready for takeoff. Meanwhile, Ned wasn't having much luck finding a dragon to fight. There didn't seem to be one anywhere. Oh. Hello there, Ned. Like the outfit? What are you doing? I'm trying to be a knight, but I can't find a dragon to fight. Have you seen one? Um, a dragon? You mean a big green thing? That's it. With horns on its head? Yes. And a loud roar? Yes. Have you seen one? Uh... No. Oh. Sorry, Ned. I've never seen a dragon in the outback. Good luck, though. Ned was beginning to think he'd never fight a dragon. And if he couldn't fight a dragon, he couldn't become a real knight. Uh, oh, this is a great idea, Frank. Archie makes a terrific dragon. I say, this is very exciting. Hold still, Archie. Come on, Archie. Let's hear you roar. Oh, ah. <coughs> Rah! Well done, Archie. Oh, why, thanks, Buster. <laughs> I've done a bit of acting in my time, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the homestead, Ned was feeling a bit sad. How would he ever get to fight a dragon in the outback? Oh. Ned, it's me, Frank. Can you come out a minute? Wow! Hi, everybody. What are you all doing here? Frank and Buster invited us to see you fight the dragon. There is no dragon. Oh, yes, there is, Ned. Come on out, dragon! Rah! <gasps> A dragon! Rah! 
Go on, brave knight. Get stuck in there. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, yes, Sir Ned, I surrender. Yay! Yay! You've done it, Ned! Yay! 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 You've even fought a dragon, just like a real knight. <laughs> Afterwards, everyone joined Ned the Knight and Archie the Dragon for drinks and cakes. Thanks for being such a great dragon, Archie. A pleasure, Mr. Ned, a pleasure. So, with the Koala Brothers' help, Ned did get to be a knight, <laughs> even if it was just for a day. And he realised that while it's nice to be a knight and fight a dragon, it's even nicer when the dragon's your friend afterwards. <laughs> Frank and Buster are out on their daily patrol again, looking for anyone in need of help. Who else do you think they're going to help today? Will it be Ned? Or Mitzi? Or maybe George. Maybe they're going to help someone in town. Will it be Sammy? Or Josie? Or Alice? Maybe they'll help someone by the waterhole. Do you think it'll be Archie? Or Penny? Or even Lolly. Who are the Koala Brothers going to help today? It's Archie! Hey! <laughs> the Koala Brothers are going to help Archie today. Although Archie the Crocodile loved to be with his friends, he sometimes liked to go for a nice quiet walk all by himself. <sighs> Yahoo! Ha! This is great, Archie. Where are we going to go next? I really like these long walks. They're so peaceful and quiet, don't you think? Yes, Mitzi. Ah. Uh... Hey, beat you back to the homestead. Yahoo! <laughs> The trouble was that it wasn't always easy for him to be on his own when he wanted to be. You know, George, I've been thinking. I'd really like to do something on my own for a change, but I don't know what. Have you thought about maybe going camping? Camping? Yeah, there's nothing like it. Just you, the stars and the crickets, and maybe a nice cup of tea. Perfect if you want to be on your own. I say, that does sound good. You know, George, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go camping. Morning. Morning. Morning, chaps. What's up? Archie's just decided that he's going to go camping. Oh. Who are you going with, Archie? Oh, no one. Just me. Won't you get a bit lonely? Oh, no, 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 no. I could go camping with you if you'd like. Oh, thanks, Mitzi, but I think I'd like to try camping on my own. Have you got a tent? A tent? Oh, not yet, Frank. I'll pick one up at Sammy's. Well, can't dawdle. Must go and get all my things. Bye. We'll see you in town, Archie. Bye. We've got to get some fuel for the plane. I don't think I'd like to camp out on my own. Me neither. Morning, Sammy. Josie. Hi, Archie. I'm after a tent. Ah, going camping, are you? That's right. When were you planning to go? Tonight. Oh, could I come with you, Archie? Maybe I could help with the tent. Oh, thanks, Josie, but I'd like to do it on my own. Oh. Have you ever been camping before, Archie? Uh, no, but I'm sure there's nothing to it. Ah. Oh, isn't this tent a bit small? Oh, that's because the tent's folded up oh, inside. You'll need to put it up when you get there. Oh, <laughs> of course I will. You might need to practice putting it up, Archie. It can be a bit tricky at first. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Thank you. See you soon. Archie was in too much of a hurry to listen to advice from anyone. <laughs> Whoa! 
Hello there, Archie. Hi, Archie. You got your tent then? That's right. As soon as it gets dark, I'll simply put up my little tent and gaze up at the stars. Ah. I think you may need a few more bits and pieces, Archie. Camping out isn't as simple as it looks. You need to do a bit of planning before you go. Don't worry, chaps. I'll be fine. Bye. Later in the outback, Archie looked for a good place to set up camp for the night. Oh, I say, that looks like just the spot. Ah, now, let's see. <coughs> ah, mm -hmm. uh, hmm, um, ah. Oh. Uh, hmm. Now then, um, first you will need a sturdy mallet and some tent pegs. Ah, uh, oh dear, I, ooh. Ah, lay out your ground sheet and, um, ooh. Archie began to realise that camping out by yourself wasn't nearly as simple as he'd thought. In the sky above, Frank and Buster were out on patrol. What's that down there, Frank? Don't know for sure, Buster. Looks like someone might need our help. Let's go and have a closer look. Good idea, Frank. Hello, Archie. Ah, hello, chaps. How's it going? Um, not too well, I'm afraid. You having a bit of trouble with your tent? I can't seem to get it to stay up. Aha. Uh -huh. And I forgot to bring some food and water. Um, to tell you the truth, camping out seems a little trickier than I thought. Hmm. And it looks like you might be a bit cold tonight without a sleeping bag. Or some tea to keep you warm. I just wanted to camp out by myself. But I don't really know the first thing about camping. I can't even put up my own tent. You don't have to do it all by yourself, Archie. We can help. Yeah. And luckily, Buster and I know a thing or two about camping out. Do you really think you could show me how it's done? Of course we could, Archie. We're the Koala Brothers. We're, We're here to help. Let's start by giving you the lift back to Sammy's store. We can get all the camping things you need there. <laughs> Mallet, pegs, ground sheet, pots, pans, pillow and sleeping bag. So Archie accepted some help from his friends and began to learn about what was needed to go camping. Hey, uh, don't forget your water. Hi everyone! How's the camping going, Archie? Uh, well, it's, it's a bit more um, uh, complicated than I thought, Mitzi. You sure you don't want me to go camping with you, Archie? Uh, no, thank you very much, Mitzi. I'd rather go camping by myself. Oh, well, good luck then. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. The Koala Brothers thought that Archie might like to practice camping out a little closer to home. So they set up camp by the waterhole. Uh, uh, this is more like it. <laughs> ah, my own little fireplace. Yeah, you can make yourself some tea when it gets cold. Oh, thanks, chaps. OK, Archie, looks like you're all set. Are you sure you don't want us to stay with you, Archie? Yes, I'm sure. Thank you, Buster. I'll be fine. We'll be back first thing in the morning to see how you're getting on. Bye. Bye, Archie. See you tomorrow, then. Later, when it got dark, Archie sat outside his tent and looked up at the stars. Ah, what could be nicer? 89, 90, 91, 92. Later, when Archie had counted all the stars he could see and drunk all the mugs of tea he could drink, he decided to go to bed. As Archie lay in his sleeping bag, all warm and cosy, he started to wonder what Frank and Buster were doing. And Ned and Mitzi. Hmm. I bet Mitzi would have liked this. And Ned and Josie. Though Archie liked being on his own, he was beginning to miss his friends a bit too. Oh, I say, what's that? Oh, bit noisy tonight. Shh, quiet everyone. It's supposed to be a surprise. 
Uh, uh, Archie. Oh, it's you, Buster. Uh, I was wondering what the noise was. How are you, Archie? Glad to see you. And I'm glad to see you. Are you having a nice time? Yes, yes I am. Uh, but I was thinking it would be even nicer if my friends were here too. Well then, are you ready for a surprise? Oh, hello Archie. Hello. Hi. Oh my. Hello all. I say, what a lovely surprise. Can we camp out with you tonight, Archie? <laughs> of course you can, Mitzi. We just didn't want to miss out on all the fun. Plenty of stars to go around, Mr. Ned. Ha! <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at that one. So thanks to the Koala Brothers, everyone camped out with Archie under the stars that night. Look, a shooting star. Yeah. Make a wish, everyone. And Archie realised that sometimes it was nice to do things on your own. And other times, it was nice to share the fun of doing things with your friends. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. It's the helping song. You see your friends in trouble, but you don't know why. Don't look away and just walk on by. I'd stop. Sometimes things can turn out wrong. You could be the one that helps them along. Always try to help. Care for one another. Always try to help. Share what you have with others. Always try to help. Be kind to everyone. Helping others is lots of fun. Everyone has dreams that you can help come true. Helping them will make you happy too. That's right. Look out for one another, whatever you do. Because if you help others, they'll help you. Always try to help. Oh, care for one another. Always try to help. Share what you have with others. Always try to help. Be kind. 